من ماليزيا التي اجتمعت فيها الثقافات والحضارات المختلفة المالاوية والصينية والهندية ذلك البلد الذي أذهل العالم بنهضة اقتصادية وتطور تقني جاء المخترع مهندس الإلكترونيات سيفا سوبرامانيام ليذهلنا بتطوير إشارة مرور اجتمعت فيها الاقتصادية وحماية البيئة وملاءمة ذوي الاحتياجات الخاصة Selamat pagi, Siva. Selamat pagi. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Oh my God. I really hate traffic lights. You have no idea. But it seems that you have a different take on traffic lights today. Uh, would you please uh, explain your invention? Yes, definitely. I think I'm in your shoes as well because traffic light is something which kills us standing stall in a junction. So. In a single glance, traffic lights has the same standards around the world. Mm -hmm. Each and every country use the same standard. Exactly. So that's where I came up with an innovation. Why can we reduce, why can't we reduce the costing on the manufacturing, mm -hmm. right? And also to reduce the number of components, which is actually increasing day-to-day -day basis. And again, how to improve the efficiency on the production process mm -hmm. by reducing the use of chemical which will enhance towards the environmental friendly mm -hmm. component or device mm -hmm. in the world. What does your traffic light do? Alright, what we do is mm -hmm. this traditional traffic lights we have three individual displays mm -hmm. green, yellow and red. Mm -hmm. So if I have 200 components here that means I need 200, 200, 200, mm -hmm. which is 600 LEDs to be used. Mm -hmm. And all the LEDs which is used is made of glass, mm -hmm. right? Glass, you when you want to recycle, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. You need uh, layers of process. Mm -hmm. And also the size of the PCB board is huge, so mm -hmm. definitely that means you have three, three of these PCB boards. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough also in the recycle process. Mm -hmm. So that's where we came up with the innovation mm -hmm. to reduce the number of components whereby I'm just using 110 LEDs. Okay. And also if you can see the size of the board is far more smaller than one display of okay. the conventional traffic lights. Okay. So by doing this, first we reduce the space, mm -hmm. right? Space means the size of the so, PCB. So you you reduced. you placed you combined three plates only within one plate. One. So instead of using 900 LEDs, you we're using now around 110. Wow. Okay. So first, we reduce the number of components. Mm -hmm. Second, we reduce the usage of the material, the PCB board. Okay. So when you reduce the size of the PCB board, definitely you reduce the usage of the chemical for the process. Manufacturing process is definitely reduced mm -hmm. by two thirds because you're only processing one instead of processing three. Okay. So when you reduce the chemicals, that means wastage of chemicals is automatically been reduced, mm -hmm. less pollution towards the environment. And what, what features does this traffic light have that makes it unique and different than other uh, traffic lights um, uh, okay. that are currently used, in addition to the features Definitely. that you've yeah. uh, mentioned as well? All right. The first features that yeah. I've mentioned yeah. is on the exactly. cost saving and etc. Exactly. Second, if you see around the world, there's an issue for color vision deficiency drivers, or we call it color blind drivers. Uh -huh. Most of the countries, they don't allow color blind drivers to drive uh -huh. because it is quite dangerous during these uh, traffic light junctions for them to predict what is the proper color mm -hmm. or what is the correct sequence for them to move in and mm -hmm. move out. Mm -hmm. So looking at that instance, mm -hmm. all right, we came out with the special symbols and special techniques to interpret these colors. Mm -hmm. So first, if you can see, green comes just with arrow, whereby yellow, arrow with cross and flashing techniques, mm -hmm. and when it goes into red, arrow with cross without flashing. Okay. So this is the techniques that we use to interpret whatever the sequence is in the conventional traffic lights to a single display traffic light. So not only an economic traffic light you've invented, a color uh, blind uh, yes. friendly Traffic definitely, light as well. Definitely. Wow, this, this is, is amazing. not to discriminate the <laughs> color vision deficiency drivers. So That's maybe by using this traffic light, now <laughs> they can drive as normal human being That's without wonderful. any defect. That's so wonderful. that is one. The second features, 
If you see traffic lights around the world, they don't have energy saving method or not, they don't conserve the energy. Mm -hmm. Whereby energy is always on the hike, you are paying bills, mm -hmm. right? And usually they are not so concerned because this is really crucial, right? It saves lives and it has a sequence that drivers have to comply. Mm -hmm. So what we have done here, we have an energy saving mode, whereby during night, we can reduce the power by half. Wow. So by doing this, you reduce the power by half during night time or during a gloomy day before it rains. So definitely Amazing. you'll have a question. How if during night time, if it rains, right, rains will distract or limits the visibility of the drivers. So we have a touchpad sensor here. Mm -hmm. Whenever it's in night mode, if it's in night mode, there's a water drop touching on the touch pad, mm -hmm. touch pad, or if it's a fog or even a snow touching mm -hmm. on the pad, it will go back to full True. power mode. Wow. So this is fully automated. So and there's no automated. issue, yes. So economic, blind, colorblind friendly, and environment, eco-friendly as yes, well. Yes, definitely. This is amazing, a wonderful and invention. Siva, thank you so much for uh, telling, us, telling us about, or telling me about this wonderful invention. Now, um, this invention is not in the market yet. Is yeah, that correct? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. So, what's your plan to market your invention? All right. First, um, the toughest challenge now is to get it legalized, street legalized application. So that means because I'm fighting against a conventional traffic light with three different displays. Mm -hmm. So the issue now is I need to get it validated with ophthalmologist and optimistry, which I have already done. I have the postmortem report. So I need to defend it to the Ministry of Works in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So once I already defend, if they agree with the system and the technology, mm -hmm. then it will be written as a law and also legally approved to be used in the streets. So mm -hmm. once, because I don't compromise any sequence or any normal operation of the conventional traffic light, so I believe that's not going to be a problem. So once I already got it approved black and white in the legal, then definitely that is a starting point to kickstart my installation on the streets any challenges or difficulties you have faced during working on your invention yes definitely because the first thing that we are looking in detail is the visibility or the visibility of the displays that is first comparing with the conventional method and the second one was on to cater the color vision driver drivers capability or colorblind drivers right so we need to create special symbols and special techniques. So we were working with several prototypes till we have find this could be the best solution to enhance and to improve the downfall of the conventional traffic lights. And again, we have the cost saving methods. Definitely we have come with several technologies, several methods of processing so that we can finally refine to one specific process which could be the best mm -hmm. to replace the conventional traffic light process. Perfect. Your future vision about this invention? As a researcher and also as a public, right? We contribute directly or indirectly to all the traffic lights in the world because it is used taxpayers' money to install traffic lights, to maintain traffic lights. So as a public, definitely I want this product to penetrate in the market as soon as possible because it involves cash flow and also money on the maintenance and also in the long run. From the perspective of a researcher, Definitely, I want my products to be commercialized and also, again, to be benefited by all the public, all the human beings on Earth. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, we can reduce the impact on the costing and we can challenge it for some other good purposes, which could be better usage for those who really require the money. Perfect. The eco-friendly, the, the color-blind friendly, and the economic traffic light by Siva. We thank you so much for your time and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much for the given opportunity and your blessings. We hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you so much.